everybody. Um, it's my first video. I'm really excited. I'm Luisa from Lulu's um, Crazy Adventures and I am in a creepy cemetery that is said to be haunted. I really don't want to say the location uh, just in case, you know, um, I don't want to disrupt anybody, but I know I will tell you this. It's in, around the IE area. It was um, the first person to be buried here, she was about 11 years old, and it, it was established in 1886. So um, let's see if we find anything here. They say it's really haunted. So I'm really, really, really excited. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's go. Okay, so luckily we were able to get in here. Um, it's very beautiful. If only you guys can see it, we just got scared though. My beautiful son's girlfriend got it was, scared. <laughs> it was a very alarming sprinkler. And my son. <laughs> but um, it's us three. You know, for us women, it's not safe to go anywhere alone. So it's always good to go in a group. Go in a pack. Go in a pack, like my son said. But um, trying to see what we hear. Please pay attention. If you see anything, let us know. Uh, post a, a, a date and stamp so that we're able to uh, see it. I'm going to see what I can post as well. Hope you guys enjoy. Do you see anything? Mm. Oh, that's nice. When? Steve and his wife. 1846 to 1923. Wow. Both of them. Yeah. Derringer. It is. We're on the same direction. So, so sad. 1842. Were they twins, maybe? No. Yeah. You mean to tell me y'all didn't hear that? Hear what? What'd you hear? It kind of sounded like a rumble and then it just stopped when I turned. Yeah. It didn't sound like no bunny, Nicole. Or a rat? Definitely not. It's like, oh. Look at this one. Wow. How crazy this is. It just says his name. George Dilworth. What's he got? Like an HIV light on this? Look at Nicole's light. Look at hers. Hers is a normal flashlight. Look at what you Ooh. gave me. I could just see that bunny from a mile away. You see that? Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of your flashlight. Do you see? Look, there's a legit circle. But I need you to flash it where I'm, you know, have my camera, please. <laughs> this one died in the same year that they were born. No, never mind. This is 39 to 99. I think. Imagine a baby for 30. I know. I was like, yeah. oh, those are sad. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are curious to know if we're stepping on graves, we actually are not. We're not stepping on anything. Um, we're being quite cautious and respectful to our to our dead. <laughs> That's on the on the video <laughs> on camera, Mike. <laughs> oh look, 1918. Of course. Mama. What? Is that what it says? Something like that. It's M. Something. It's M A. 
like he's fighting off bugs. I think I'm gonna go night vision because it's so dark out here I can't see anything. We just found baby graves. Oh no. They were all... Look at their names. Mary Max, Raymond Max, Dennis Max. That is so sad. No, but they all have the same last name. That's what she's saying. Yeah, Edward Max, 24 to 25. This a year. Dang, that's so sad. This poor family. I think there's a six toplets. Yeah, Optimum, yeah. It's kind of freaky. Imagine if it's been here since 1886, right? Wouldn't be surprised. If, if they hung people here? Okay, so apparently we didn't know our history in 1886. California was already a part of the United States. It's been a part of the United States since 1848. It was in 1886, right? 1886. We didn't have... This was all still a part of um, Mexico back then. Ooh. So unless very true, you know, Hispanic. You guys aren't Mexican, really. No, we're not. It's just. I mean, you have a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Unless some of the ancestors, you know. I'm I'm like a portion for the years. I mean, plus I can be more Mexican than me. You know, I kind of want to head this way. So I guess my ancestors. Hmm. Hey, Scott. You know, Scottish were treated pretty bad too by the English. Although, although it didn't end well for Scotland, mm -hmm. they were brave. Let's try to be quiet and see if we can catch the anything. Of the Scottish, you know what I'm Are there any spirits here? Excuse me. If there are, don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> my son's afraid but if there are any spirits here you can speak through my camera I'll be able to review it and relay your message let us know if you're here give us a sign <laughs> Or, you know, you can touch my son. Oh. He doesn't mind. <laughs> okay, so pay close attention to this clip. Uh, as soon as I say it, out of respect it's a kid, it's a family, child. I'm not going to post her name on I, here. 1996 you can say, why not? She was like, our age. Well, out of respect for her family, I'm not going to post her name on there. Just the giraffe. There's a lot of young people here. Yeah. You hear that? That's what I heard earlier. Who was that? I don't know, but it's like it's the third time. I think it's the sprinklers. They're all being set off at different times. 
After I hear the noise, I start walking Sounds towards like the brush. And I didn't. I don't notice the apparition on the left side. If you pay attention, you can see it. But as soon as I get close, it disappears. <laughs> Mike. It sounded like someone was running towards me. Huh? It sounded like someone was running towards me. Yeah. Right now. Oh, I hope the camera caught it. There's no, I thought there was going to be a lake over here or something. Because that's what it sounds like. Something's in the lake, no? Can you imagine what this place looks like in the day? <laughs> Freaking sickle. I love the smell of trees. It's so peaceful here. There's a red light over there. I yep. see it. Where is that? I don't know. It looks like there's nothing in the house. It just went out. It's so oh, sad. It's fine. No. As we're walking ahead, after I say you hear that, you see an orb pass in front of me and an apparition. Did you hear that? I had a rooster. No, I didn't. I'm not talking about the rooster. Well, whatever that noise is in, it's coming from that As area. I say, let's get the EMF. Oh, you know what? We can, see an we can take out the, we can get the uh, EMF. Um meter out and see if there's any spirits near us. I think that would be something good to do. Oh, I look kind of freaky like this. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Kind of look kind of cartoony or something. <laughs> no, that's what you're supposed well, to We have night vision. vision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look like a zombie. <laughs> okay. Turn off this flashlight, and we're gonna rely on yours for now. Okay. Where's that light? I see it. Turn this color. Oh. Oh, you see? No, there was something over here. Mike, point your flashlight this way. Did you hear that, Nicole? Yeah, Nicole doesn't look all zombie-like. Wait, are you guys looking all zombie-like? Yes. Well, my mom looks like she's the ghost. <laughs> I look like a zombie. I think it's because I already look like a ghost in the day. <laughs> oh so, my god. <laughs> you know, gotta give me something at night. Okay, you guys, so I downloaded the EMF on my phone. Um, because I have, I, I heard that it was actually really easy to handle, so I decided to download it. Um, let's see if it works. Okay. Are there any spirits here? If you are, 
you can come and touch my phone to let us know that you're here. Give us a sign. Caution watch for snakes. Okay, so my battery is about to die. And normally they say when that happens, it's because there's a spirit that is near me. Could you turn off the flashlight? Mm -hmm. Turn that back on because mine's isn't now. Thank you. Here, you hold this and I'll hold the flashlight. How about that? Okay. So if there are any spirits around here, you can come to my camera and speak to it, or you can touch my phone and let us know that you're here. I think where we were at in the front is where, you know, the, um, the girl that I was telling you about was buried, the 11 year old girl. That grave with all the lights is pretty interesting, isn't it? Nope, rabbits make that kind of noise. You hear that? Oh, there's a bench over there. You guys want to sit on the bench for a bit? See if we can hear anything? Hold on. You want to sit at the bench for a bit to see if we can hear anything? Okay, yes. Nicole's <laughs> like, not really. Nicole says your magnetic field is very strong. <gasps> There's something near you. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it actually does. Well, it's the highest it's gone so far. Let's walk that way. Yeah. Well, then let's walk that way. Yeah, but that's like a, a house. Mm. Yeah, that's like a house. Yeah. Yeah. Just go to the house. <laughs> Sounds like something's running towards us. It's not a big house. That house is the office. That's how they first started. The office. In eighteen in eighteen thirty six. 
in 1836, um, that's how they started. They started in that house. You can go there. Oh, I'm sorry, 86, 1886. Forgive me. How's the EMF meter going? It went up to five back there. It did? Oh, there goes again. Where? Are we being followed? If there's a spirit here, move that meter more. You scared it. No, I didn't. Look at that. It's moving. Touch the meter. Okay. What are you doing? I'm touching it. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, six. Is there a message you want to give to a loved one? You can talk through my camera. We'll be able to hear you and give that message. Or if you can repeat my name. My name is Lisa. This is my son, Michael. <laughs> they didn't need my name. Someone's walking behind me. Hmm. It's not my son. He's way up there. I don't know if you can see him. Let me see if I can point it out. There he is. He's right there. So it's not him and his girlfriend's over there. That's just me. So the saying is that back in 1886, um, they started using this house as a funeral home, place to come. And as I walk up to the house, area, you yeah. can see a face and, on the um, window on the left side where I flash my flashlight. Hey, and here we are. And you can 20, I'm sorry, 2019, I don't know what I'm thinking, and they still use this house, they use it as an office. I'm going to sit right here for a bit. Oh, did you hear that? Sounded like someone was trying to open the door. Maybe a camera, yeah, I know that. Didn't it sound like someone was trying to open the door? Wow. Isn't that beautiful? This place is so well preserved, well taken care of, and I love the fact that they let. What is that? Right. She didn't. Is that what it was? Hmm. Something like that. So, we should use the 
EMF meter on the older side. Let's go back over there. Did it raise at all? How's it going past six? Oh yeah, it's hitting a pole. <laughs> I freaked this out. so weird how they leave like lights around you know You sure? Maybe a spirit will get close to her. Why? Because she's little. Because she's what? I said, why? Because she's little. <laughs> Maybe we're dealing with racist ghosts. Maybe they don't want to talk about them. Oh, spider webs. Remember, these ghosts are from the 1800s. They would be a little prejudiced. No, not if this was Mexico. Although the names that are on those on those are graves are all white. I saw Garcia's earlier. I mean, someone saw our name there. They said it's white. I'm probably gonna be buried if you go there. So sad. Tyler absent from body, present with God. Is it a little girl? Uh huh. It's an adult, right? Anything on the EMF? No, nothing <sighs> Does it have a name on that side? It doesn't have anything on this side. Well, it does right here. I don't know if you can see that. 1874. Horace Van Nor No, no. Oh. Horace Banabet? No, I see an O and an F T. Horace Van O Or it. An or it? Is an R? Yeah, Anorite. that's an R. Ignore it. Banner rope. Banner boat. Oh, these freaking Boy, mosquitoes. The like that. I can actually read the... No, no, no. Just do... Put the name away. Horace Van Croet. It's a C? Yeah. 
beloved husband. As soon as I find out that the spouse's name is oh, Lulu, Lulu, you see Lulu an orb be appear next what? to me when I turn What? Around. Are you serious right now? July 7th, 1874. Lulu? Lulu. Really? And I, I am uh, Lulu's crazy adventures. Huh. What? No way. That is just crazy. The silver cord has a message. The silver cord is loose. Golden bowl is broken. Huh. What was that supposed to mean? The silver cord is loose. The golden bowl is broken. That's weird. Did you hear that? Doesn't it sound like a laugh? What does it say? What? Uh, I'm looking it up. That phrase is related with an astral projection. Really? Yeah. Huh. You know what that means? Yes. The silver cord in metaphysical studies and literature, also known as the Sutratma or life thread of the Antakarana, refers to a life-giving linkage from the higher self, Atma, down in the physical body. It also refers to an extended synthesis of this thread, and second, the consciousness thread passing from the soul to the physical body that connects the physical body to the etheric body, onwards to the astral body, and finally to the mental body. In other research, it is described as a long, or as a strong, silver-colored elastic cord which joins a person's physical body to its astral body, a manifestation of the physical body that is less distinct. Yeah, the, an astral projector reported observing that during his out-of-body experiences, glue-like strings appear at the astral body. And if you look up the phrase, it's pretty common. Or ever hmm. the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the system. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Wow. She's just over there. <laughs> She's loving it. That is crazy. Just learned something new. <laughs> Hola, mi bella gente. Hi, my beautiful peeps. This is Luisa at Lulu's Crazy Adventures. I am actually trying to finish this video only because some of my footage was lost. So, um, and I'm a little upset about that because the part of the footage that I really, really wanted to capture was the one where um, I left my, uh, oh, my camera, sorry, phone, I don't know where I got that, <laughs> static at Mabel's, um, Mabel Hending's um, uh, resting spot. And I wanted to catch her um, speaking uh, something there, um, but unfortunately I I lost that footage. Um, you know, she was the very first person that was actually buried here at the Laurel Cemetery in um, Marietta, California. Uh, the only reason why I didn't want to mention it in the beginning of the video is because I've seen and I follow other people who have mentioned names of, of um, places and people have gone out there and damaged them or, you know, um, made them not accessible anymore. But um, this cemetery is so beautiful. It's uh, peaceful, and 
I was really excited with everything that I caught. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy my video. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe and um, press that little bell button in the corner so you can get alerts every time I post a new video, which I plan on doing at least once a week. You guys all have a great day now and nothing is possible unless we all work together. Bye!